Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a bit different cause I don't have much time to edit. So if you read the title, it's a half clickbait and half true. It's a rant slash not a rant, I don't know. I'm just gonna talk about the fascinating and the frustrating side of custom keyboards. Specifically, it's about the huge cons of getting into this hobby. So let's get into it. Before getting into the cons, let me explain what exactly are mechanical keyboards. Well, unlike those flimsy rubber dome keyboards that come free with your PC, mechanical keyboards use individual mechanical switches for each key. These switches give you that satisfying click and clack sound and sometimes not so satisfying click and clack sounds. There are tons of switches out there, each with its unique feel and sound. You've got linear switches, tactile switches, clicky switches, and there are countless more varieties that branch out below these three categories. Mechanical keyboards have been around since the beginning of computing. Remember those chunky IBM Model M keyboards? Those were the OG mechanical keyboards. Fast forward to today and we've got boards that look like they belong in a sci-fi movie. And then came the custom mechanical keyboard era, where enthusiasts decided that off-the-shelf keyboards just weren't cutting it. They wanted something unique, something that screamed, I have too much time on my hands. Jokes aside, the beauty of custom mechanical keyboards lies in the endless possibilities of customization. You can swap out switches, keycaps, stabilizers, and even the PCB if you're feeling adventurous. If you want your keyboard to look like a rainbow threw up on it, that's easy. And if you want it to sound like you're typing on a typewriter, that's easy as well. And that's why I got into custom keyboards a year ago. I love the idea of creating something totally unique because every little tweak or change can make your board look and sound completely different and cost you a small fortune. Which brings me to the biggest con, the price. Mechanical keyboards are getting ridiculously more expensive. We're talking about slabs of aluminum and PCBs that cost more than your entire computer setup. And the keycaps. Don't even get me started on the keycaps. There are PBT keycaps that cost 300, 400 US dollars, a GMK keycaps that costs more than a Keychron keyboard, which by the way, comes with switches and keycaps. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I get that companies like Cerakis use fancy materials like aluminum ceramic, but for a PBT keycap, that's why I think it's better to buy keycaps from AliExpress, which are actually really good in quality as well. And let's not forget about group buys. For those who don't know, a group buy is when a bunch of people pre-order a product together to help the manufacturer hit the minimum order quantity, which I can totally understand. Cause there are so many benefits for manufacturers which can help promote more production in the future. And I can support that. But some manufacturers can take over a year to get your keyboards delivered. The Zoom 75 I bought through a group buy took about 3-4 to four months, which was fairly quick and I'm really happy about that. But the Frey Ultra keyboard I purchased in early February from Uchi Studio, it's been almost 6 months and I'm still waiting. Their initial estimated delivery was on May and it is now the end of July. Look I'm not saying that group buys are bad. because. In my opinion, uh, Militrix really does it well. They get the orders, delivers it in about 3-4 to four months, and I can wait 3-4 to four months. But yeah, there are companies like AppleMaker, Keytalk, and Keychron, which I really love. Because number one, they have really good pricing, especially AppleMaker. And number two, their products are readily available, so the excitement is at its peak when the keyboards get delivered. As a general consumer, I just want a really good, reasonably priced keyboard to show off and use it for my everyday tasks. 
but getting into custom keyboards and custom PC, it has this way of making you want the new and better, even though what you have is already more than enough. It's like a never ending cycle. Every time something new comes up, we all want it even though we clearly don't need it. And sometimes it just gets out of hand, especially if you're like me and have little money to spare. Cause in my case, I keep selling my used devices after a year or two just to keep up with the new releases. It's a vicious cycle. I mean, I know I'm definitely not the person to be giving advices on this cause this video is just downright hypocritical to be honest. Cause I'm telling you the bad side of this hobby while showing off my collection every time I upload a video. But I really hope this video helps one or two of you who's watching. So yeah, as I told you, custom keyboards are fascinating and frustrating. It's a rabbit hole that's easy to fall into, but hard to climb out of. If you're already in it, you know what I'm talking about. If you're thinking about getting into it, then consider this your fair warning. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.